Who is this course for? Who is really going to benefit from it? To be honest, I believe just about anyone can benefit from learning sound financial techniques. Even if you're already in your 50s or older, you may not necessarily be able to retire early, but you can still shore up your finances late in life. But the ideal student for this course falls into one of the following categories. Young adults. If you're a young adult in your 20s and 30s, you're at the ideal time to learn how to retire early. You have the greatest asset on your side right now, time. You need time to save and invest and build a nest egg. We didn't really start saving until our late 20s, so I know what you can accomplish in 10 to 15 years. In this course, I'll show you exactly what we did so you can do it too. This course is also for anyone who wants to learn more about personal finance. The fact is, they don't teach you much about personal finance in school. I was a business major in college, and we never discussed things like how to invest in the stock market, how to purchase a home, or how to reduce your household expenses. These are really important lessons that everyone needs to know. This course will go over all of those and a lot more. And obviously, this course is for anyone whose goal is to retire early. I didn't know how great early retirement would be until I actually did it. This course will give you all the tools you need to accomplish this amazing life goal. You just need to put them into effect. So what will this course do for you? What will you get out of it? Well, when it comes to personal finance, concepts can be complicated, confusing, and boring. I'm hoping to change that with this course. The whole idea of retiring early can seem overwhelming. You may be thinking, you don't make enough money, you have too much debt, or you don't have enough savings. Well, we all had to start somewhere. No matter what your current financial situation is, there are a number of things you can do to improve it. My goal with this course is tr to try to make the process as simple as possible. The financial techniques we'll be going over in this course are not rocket science. Seriously, if you can do basic math, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, then you have the skills to improve your finances and retire early. We'll show you exactly what you need to do, and you just need to make the effort to implement these techniques. This course will also, hopefully, be more fun and interesting than any other financial course you've taken. I totally get that finances, numbers, and math can be really boring. But if you think about it as a game or a competition with yourself, and you envision the positive outcomes of your new financial choices, and then you start seeing the results paying off, then the process starts to become more fun and interesting. So what are these mysterious six steps to early retirement? Well, they're not really all that mysterious. They're just sound financial techniques that, when put together in this order and practiced over time, will go a long, long way to helping you achieve an early retirement. The first step is really very simple. Assess your current financial situation. Now, this might be a little painful for some, especially if your finances are a total mess. But it's like pulling off a Band-Aid. You just have to go for it. The bottom line is that you can't get to a goal of early retirement if you don't first have an honest understanding of where you stand financially. Once you do this assessment, then you can get to work to improve your situation, no matter how bad it might seem. In step two, we're going to help you set up your retirement goals. Again, you can't get to a final destination if you don't know what it looks like. During this step, you'll determine exactly how much money you'll need to save to retire early. The first two steps are kind of the preliminary steps. The real work starts with step number three, managing your debt and building your credit. In this section, we'll show you how to get out of that mountain of debt you may be under and how to establish and build good credit history. Step number four is all about increasing your income. If you want to retire early, you have to find ways to make money so you can invest and grow that money into your retirement nest egg. In this section, we'll go over a number of different ways to create multiple income streams that will add money to your savings. In step number four, you learned how to make extra money. Now in step number five, we'll show you how to grow that money. Making money doesn't do you any good if you don't save and invest that money. Saving is the basic part of the equation, and the more advanced part is the investing. Smart investing, coupled with a long time horizon, is what's really going to get you to your early retirement goal. Finally, in step number six, we'll show you how to better manage your expenses. You can make all the money in the world, but if you don't keep your expenses in check, you could easily end up spending every dime. 
I know people that make mid six figure salaries, but they have so many expenses, a giant mortgage, expensive car payments, all the latest gadgets, that they end up spending all their money and have nothing to show for all their hard work. This section will give you tons of ideas to reduce your expenses without living like a miser. After each of the six steps, I'll present you with an assignment. Don't worry, these assignments aren't meant to be too difficult, and I'll walk you through exactly what you'll need to do. The great thing about the assignments is that each one will provide you a tangible outcome that will bring you one step closer to early retirement. After completing the six steps, you'll also get some bonus lectures at the end of the course. We want to make sure you have everything you need to set yourself up for a successful early retirement. Before we jump into the first step, let's go over a few things you should be aware of on your financial journey. First, we'll show you what worked for us and what's worked for many others, but keep in mind that everyone's situation is unique. Second, the financial markets can and will change over time. These changes could positively or negatively affect the stock market, real estate prices, interest rates, and the job market. And third, it's always a good idea to check with a financial and tax professional, as well as do your own research, and monitor any changes in accounting and finance laws. With all that being said, it's time to jump into the six steps of retiring early. Are you ready? Buckle up and get ready to start on the first step in the next lecture, assessing your current financial situation.